Church, I hope you're enjoying our Hebrews journey together as much as I am. I'm not just enjoying the inspirational messages from Sunday, but also our breathing exercises. I, I, I hope you're taking the time, even in this lockdown space, to engage with the breathing exercises. And today I just want to talk to you about the revive exercise, the third of our breathing exercises. When Jesus turned up on the scene, he said that the kingdom of God has come. In him he has brought the kingdom. And then he tells us our responsibility, repent and believe. Repent is about changing our mind and believing is about taking on new truths, the truths of the kingdom and allowing them to shape our lives. So the revived journey is this journey of understanding what parts of our truth contradict the truth of the kingdom. What truths do we hold that don't allow the truths of the kingdom from becoming core and shaping truths within us? We see throughout scripture this model of death and resurrection. The kingdom comes as we die to held beliefs that are in contradiction to the kingdom beliefs and as we are resurrected into new beliefs, kingdom beliefs. Whether that's around identity, whether that's around love, whether that's around our acceptance. It's about changing our minds and scripture speaks a lot about the renewal of our minds and not being conformed to patterns of the world. but having our minds shaped by the kingdom because our behavior flows out of our belief systems. And I like last week when we were told to search your heart every day for unbelieving hiding within you. Friends, I wanna encourage you that as you sit with Holy Spirit, you will find that he will point out to you unbelieving thoughts in you that you never knew existed, that contradict and keep the kingdom from flowing in its fullness in your life. So the first step in this revived breathing exercise is around awareness. It's around sitting and saying to the Holy Spirit, I heard this on Sunday, show me what in me contradicts that. I know on the first Sunday, Brendan spoke about, or maybe it was Ben actually spoke about the fact that Jesus is the anchor of our hope. And I remember sitting with Holy Spirit and asking, is my hope anchored in Jesus? And he started to reveal to me places in my life where my hope was actually in myself and my ability this belief of hope in self. So the first step is to sit with Holy Spirit and ask for awareness about contradicting storylines that will undermine the fullness of the kingdom coming in your life. The second stage is around then asking a couple of questions about that contradicting truth, that conflicting truth. Questions like, where did it come from? Who told me that? Why does it have power in my life? This is when the Holy Spirit will bring revelation to you about the where and the who. Did I get this truth from a family member, from a, a, a powerful voice in my life? Was it from a traumatic circumstance in my life where I understood life to be in that particular way? I know in my particular instance that I was sharing then, the Holy Spirit revealed to me a family mantra that I, I knew about. It's, a, it's this kind of concept that my father shared with me that if something's going to happen, then it's up to you to make it happen. Sounds like good truth, but it's actually not kingdom truth at all. And I, I could see how that was then linked to my hope being in me, because if there was going to be hope, it was up to me to have hope in my life. And so again, we see that where does the power come from? What situations or what people brought that power into our lives? Once the Holy Spirit's revealed that, you then move into a prayer engagement. Now, this is all spelled out on pages seven uh, forward in your booklet. And we move into a prayer whereby we repent, we take back the power we'd invested in this story that conflicts with the kingdom story. We break it off our lives in the name of Jesus. And then we renew our lives with the new story of the kingdom and then bring praise and gratitude to him. Friends, I encourage you. The walk of discipleship is actually a walk with the Holy Spirit where he brings us into awareness where our mindsets, our core truth, do not align with the kingdom. And then he leads us in this death process of repentance and into a resurrection process of renewal. We must, as followers of Jesus, if we're going to grow in our faith, if we're going to grow in the fullness of our citizenship and our citizen life, that we understand this process of healing that comes through repentance and renewal. I trust that over these coming weeks, you'll enjoy the process with Holy Spirit as he brings incredible freedom and incredible healing to your life as you use the breathe exercise of revive. Bless your church. Love you lots.